What's going on, everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show. I am your host for today, filling in for the remarkable Joe Guerrero. Touch him two times, Tommy. Not one time, not three times, only two times. You touch him, then finito. Touch him two times, Tommy. And in this video, we're going to be showing you guys how to cook prison-style hot stuffed tamales. Not regular tamales, but stuffed tamales, like touch him two times, Tommy kind of stuffed tamales, if you get my drift. Bada boom, bada bing. We're gonna be cooking up some stuffed prison tamales. Okay, okay, the first thing that we're going to need when it comes to preparing these stuffed prison tamales is the ingredients, of course. How are we going to prepare a prison meal if we don't have the ingredients needed to prepare it? Doesn't really make a lot of sense if you ask me, so what do we need? Two hashtag super basic ramen noodles, just like these chicken flavored ones right here. We're going to need us some cheese spread just like this right here. Just some simple, sharp cheese spread. We're going to need our extraordinary prison pickle that comes in a bag. One sleeve of saltine crackers. Nothing too spectacular about those. A humongous piece of meat like this beef summer sausage right here that does not need to be refrigerated. I'm not exactly sure why this doesn't need to be refrigerated, but it is what it is. Some rice in a bag just like this bada bing bada boom bag right here. Some little baby wieners, I mean Vienna sausages, just like these right here in this can. Two little Tupperware containers just like so. Half a bag, and this is absolutely one of the key ingredients to this meal, half a bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos. We're also going to need some sort of a cutting device for this meal and for that purpose solely we have acquired this monstrosity of a prison stabbing device in prison. This would probably be referred to as some sort of a sword, not a sword, but a sword. And if ever while in prison you come across something like this being pointed in your direction, the best advice I could give to you is just to take the touching two times from Tommy. That's the best that I can tell you. Touch up two times Tommy. Giving it to you just as real as I possibly can because my goodness, this thing right here, this stabbing contraption right here, this piece of metal, most certainly inside the clink would be referred to as a sword. A sword. A sword. The nickname, touch him two times, Tommy, it's the name that I acquired at an early age of dealing with life inside of a prison. Uh, simply because of the fact that I wouldn't touch him not one time, not three times, only two times. I touch him two times and then that's it, finito, I'm done with him. But I gotta tell you, you know, there was a lot of pressure that came along with this nickname. A lot of pressure. Anytime I touched him, I couldn't touch him one time. I had to touch him two times because, you know, it's touch him two times Tommy. And there is one last key thing that we will need in preparation of this prison stuffed hot tamale that we will be making. And that is something that I do believe Mr. Joe Guerrero has spoken to you guys about in a previous cooking video. A prison cutting board full of a bunch of half-naked women. I mean, really, this thing is just a piece of cardboard with a bunch of pictures cut out of magazines and have been taped and then also saran-wrapped to what is now the prison cutting board. Without this thing right here, we will not be able to make this prison meal. So again, bada-bing, bada-boom. Prison cutting board definitely important to the preparation of this prison meal. And I remember from an early age, uh, guys would come up to me and say, Tommy, we need you to touch him. And we don't need you to touch him one time. We need you to touch him two times. So because of that, I guess it was just a name that stuck with me. Touch him two times, Tommy. I don't know, you know. Sometimes I didn't want to touch him two times. Sometimes I would see the guy and I'd be like, yeah, you know, this is a guy I only want to touch him one time. But it's touch him two times, Tommy. So, of course... I would have to touch them two times. Okay, so the first thing that we got to do in preparation of this meal is we got to crush up all of the ingredients. The ramen noodles, they definitely need to be crushed up like the juni cakes of some guy that touch them two times. Tommy has just... Um, maybe not for this video. Maybe we talk about that another time. Bada bing, bada boom, the ramen noodles, they are crushed up and ready to go. 
The next thing that we need to crush up are the Flaming Hot Cheetos and I got to warn you, please be careful while consuming these because the next morning these things will have you puckered up and I don't mean the things that you use to kiss your mother with. But we don't need the entire bag of these Flaming Hot Cheetos, we only need half of the bag. So open up the bag and then do something with the half of the bag. I don't know, maybe give it to Punk Tattoo Guy or Peaches or Cherry, I don't know but you only need half of the bag for this meal. And with half of the bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos, we're gonna go ahead and crush those up. Now keep in mind when crushing up the ingredients for this prison meal, whether it's the noodles, whether it's the Cheetos, whether it's the crackers, whatever it may be, we need to crush everything up into a fine granule powder or at least as close to that as we possibly can get. Because I'm telling you, this is a very, very important part of preparing these prison tamales. Okay, so once we have crushed up the flaming hot Cheetos, the next thing that we must crush up, of course, are these saltine crackers. We're gonna crush up the entire sleeve of these saltines right here. Crushed up ramen noodles, crushed up flaming hot Cheetos, and of course our crushed up saltines. Now normally while preparing a prison meal, this would be the point in time where you would get the hot water, you would mix everything together. But in this prison meal, that is not what we are going to do until we are almost finito. You know, I can remember my mother asking me when I came home, she said, Tommy, Tommy, what, what is up with this name? Why is everybody calling you Touch Him Two Times Tommy? I remember you when you were just a little bambino. It was just Tommy, now it's all of this, touch him two times, Tommy, like, what is this? And I said, Ma, listen to me, you know, it's prison. Some things that happen in prison, they tend to stay in prison. Next question, Ma, next question. She never really understood the whole touch him two times, Tommy thing, and I can understand that. What we must do now is prepare the rest of the ingredients and we are going to start doing that by chopping up that manzilla of a beef summer sausage with our prison sword and our prison cutting board. We're gonna use all of these things combined to cut up that beef summer sausage manzilla. Let's go ahead and open up the manzilla. That there is a hefty piece of meat right there in my hands. It almost feels right, but again, it's touch em two times Tommy and nothing about this feels right at all. In fact, touch em two times Tommy would recommend that you grab on his Manzilla, but not grab on a Manzilla like this. I don't feel comfortable touching this baby arm just like this at all. This is not good for me. I'm totally kind of feeling uncomfortable about this. I don't know, but we need to cut this up right now. Now this is definitely a lot of meat for this meal. We do not need all of this sausage for this. I would only recommend using half of this sausage and while cutting into this, please be careful not to cut into any of the beautiful women down here on our prison cutting board. With the other half of sausage, possibly give that to, I don't know, maybe peaches, maybe cherry, somebody who may appreciate this a lot more. Having that baby arm right there nestled tightly in the grip of their hand. But with half of our beef summer sausage, let's go ahead and just start chopping that up. Very nice and easy. Careful not to cut yourself with your prison sword. And also careful not to damage the prison cutting board. You know, let's just say hypothetically you borrowed a prison cutting board from another prisoner. You want to pay especially close attention that you do not damage that prison cutting board. Otherwise, there could be serious implications and repercussions that come from you doing so. So again, please keep in mind to be very, very careful while using somebody else's prison cutting board. With our sausage now cut up, it is time to move on to the Vienna sausages and let's go ahead and chop those up as well. All of our meat has now been chopped up. We can go ahead and mix all of that up together. We've got our manzilla with our little baby sausages mixed in there just like so. And we will now put those into a Tupperware container just like this. With all of our meats inside of this Tupperware, we can place this off to the side right now because again, this is just a lot of preparation to get this meal where it needs to be. Put the meat away. Next, we're going to take our bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos and we're going to put our ramen noodles and our crackers inside of this bag. With our noodles mixed in with our Flaming Hot Cheetos, let's go ahead and give this a little shake. 
Now that that is nicely mixed up together, let us add one half of a seasoning pack. That is it, finito. And let's shake that up again. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened right there. Uh, next, let's go ahead and add our saltine crackers into this bag. Flaming Hot Cheetos, Ramen Noodles, Crackers, all mixed up, ready to go. So many times, so many times I would have to touch them two times and... You know, sometimes they wouldn't want me to touch them one time, but I had to touch them two times because again, you know... Touch them two times, Tommy, I mean... It was a thing, you know? These were tough times to be in prison when you had a guy running around with a nickname, Touch them two times, Tommy. The next thing that we need to do is go ahead and prepare the pickle in the bag only in prison and at 7-Eleven as well. Will you ever find pickle in a bag? This is just absolutely mind-boggling to me. I don't understand why a pickle belongs in a bag any time in life. It just does not make a lot of sense. But we need to go ahead and prepare the pickle. Opening it up carefully not to spill any of the precious pickle juice. Let's take out this pickle. Oh my goodness, that is a large pickle. Even touch them two times, Tommy is impressed by the size of this pickle. Let's go ahead and cut up this extremely large pickle. Nice and carefully. With our pickle chopped up, we can put this off to the side right now. I've actually kept a ramen noodle wrapper that we are going to just place all of our pickle onto. Bada bing, bada boom, pickle is done. Now there's one final step before we start to put all of this together and that is we need to prepare the cheese for this meal. It's a very easy combination of cheese and pickle juice. We're going to use one of our Tupperware containers for that right now. Tupperware container, here is our spread cheese. Never seen spread cheese look like this before. Oh my god, that there folks looks like some very easy cheese to spread with. Touch them two times, Tommy definitely recommends this cheese right here. It looks very easy to spread. Bada bing, bada boom, if you get my drift. And with our spoon, let's go ahead and take out a little bit of this spread cheese. Oh my god, that is the fluffiest cheese I've ever seen in my life. Let's put that right in there like so. In prison, everything is better when it's cheesy, so we've got a lot of cheese in the Tupperware. Uh, next, we're going to take the pickle juice that's left over in the bag. And we're going to pour a little bit of the pickle juice right in there just like so. Now, we don't really need to stir this cheese. The easiest way to mix this cheese up is simply to shake this cheese. We're going to put a lid on this container. Just like so, bada bing, bada boom. Hey, it's cheese. And we are gonna shake up the cheese. What an easy way to mix cheese and pickle juice simply by shaking it in a container with a lid. Okay, now that the cheese is shaken up and everything else is prepared, let's go ahead and make a prison stuffed tamale. Touch them two times, Tommy style. What we need to do now is take us some hot water, possibly in a plastic tumbler, like a cup that they will sell you in prison, and we need to heat up this water. We need this water to be boiling hot. Uh, so we're gonna do that right now in the microwave, nuking this water uh, for probably something like five or six minutes, possibly holding up the entire microwave line just for this boiling hot water. But if anybody was to give touch them two times, Tommy, a problem about the microwave I promise you this boiling hot water is not going on their face not one time not three times but I can promise you touch them two times Tommy I remember times walking by and I would hear the guys whispering they would be like hey that guy right there let's touch him two times Tommy and it was crazy to see the way these guys would react to knowing that I was touching two times Tommy these guys would pucker up a lot and I don't mean with the things that you use to kiss your mother with it's these were bad times, bad, bad times. Okay, so now that we have our hot our boiling water out of the microwave, we next need to add this water to our bag of all of the mixed up ingredients. Bag, water, let's mix. Be careful not to get this water on you either. This is very, very hot. Oh 
Oh my goodness, that is so hot. It almost feels like mace in my face right now. I cannot believe how Joe Guerrero was able to take all of the mace to the face. Like a straight shot to the face. Sort of like a little something from Touch Em Two Times. Tommy, bada boom, bada bing. Let's go ahead and add a little more water to this because there's a lot of things that need to be cooked inside of this bag. Oh my goodness, that, I'm, I'm just telling you folks, that is so hot. So, so very hot. Holy moly, that is hot. Again, you have to be very careful while doing this because you could easily burn yourself. Once we have added our boiling hot lava water to our bag, let's let this sit for just a few minutes. The next thing that we need to do, uh, we need to heat up the meats inside of this Tupperware container. So let's just take all of these meats and put those in the microwave for an excruciating amount of time to absolutely nuke the Vienna sausages along with the manaconda inside of this bowl. While the meat is being nuked inside of the microwave, we have to pay especially close attention to what is in this bag right here because we are not making just some little blob at the bottom of this bag. We need to make this almost into sort of like a dough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump this onto our prison cutting board right now. Bung! That right there, folks, just looks like a tamale, does it not? While we sit that right there, let's go ahead and tear our chip bag right down the seam because this chip bag is about to be very important to the next step in this stuffed tamale preparation. With our chip bag opened, we are going to now begin to flatten what we have on our prison cutting board. Careful not to get the edges off of the board. Oh my goodness. This is looking good already. Now we want to try to spread this as thin as we can, but protecting the integrity of what we have here, which is considered sort of a base, sort of a dough, sort of a wrap, sort of a bunch of shit mixed together like you would do in prison. But once we have spread this out, let's go ahead and just cover this up just like so to keep this thing still cooking. Oh my goodness, that is smoking hot. All of that meat right there in the bowl has now been nuked and is ready for the next step. But before we go ahead and start inserting things, touch them two times, tummy, bada bing, bada boom. We need to go ahead and prepare the rice for this meal. Now on the instructions on the back, I'm not very good at instructions, but it says we need to tear a little slit in the bag like so, and then heat this up for I think 90 seconds. Ooh, that is super, super hot. Be very careful with all of these things coming out of the microwave. Uh, they are very hot. Let's go ahead and carefully open up the rice pouch. We are gonna take off the top to our tamale. We're now going to start putting the things inside of it. First, let's start with the rice, just like so. Uh, with the rice on the tamale, let's just go ahead and start keeping that pretty much in the center, like so. Next, let's go ahead and add our meats on top of this. That is a lot of meat. If you see a guy packing this much meat inside of a prison, even touch him two times Tommy, he would be scared. Uh, next, we're going to take our pickle and we're going to put the pickle right on the top of the tamale just like so. This thing is looking pretty fantastic already. The next thing that we need to do is take that shake em up cheese with the pickle juice. And let's go ahead and add some of that cheese right down the middle. Oh yeah. That is uh, definitely looking very good. With our cheese in the tamale, it is now time to try to piece together this tamale. You have to be very careful to protect the structural integrity of said tamale. We are going to use our prison sword right here. Very, very nice. Packing all of those ingredients and all of those special tasty little commissary treats inside of our stuffed tamale. Oh my goodness. 
definitely starting to come back together for us right now. In prison, there is no better meal than a stuffed prison tamale. <laughs> Tamale put all together right now. It looks a little crazy, but that's okay. We're gonna nuke this inside of the microwave for about five minutes to help secure and seal all of these tasty ingredients together inside, compacted in this stuffed prison tamale. Okay, so we have gotten the tamale out of the microwave after nuking this thing for approximately five minutes. Uh, this thing is now done and it's ready to be eaten. And I just want to know, you know, what do you think? Do you think this thing is going to taste good? I've got to be honest with you, I have not eaten all day. But I'm definitely famished and ready to give this thing a try. I'm even going to bring over Cody. Cody, come on over here. We've got to test this thing out just to see how good this Ketchup Two Times Tommy hot stuffed tamale made just like how they would make it in prison is going to taste. Cody. Uh, what do you think? Just looking at this thing right now, uh, give me your give me your hypothesis of what you think this is going to taste like. Uh -huh. Well, I've been eating all day, so it looks pretty good for me. Pretty good from Cody here. Cody thinks it's going to be tasty and delicious. Let's dive dive right into this hot tamale. Very good. We've cut this in half, uh, Cody. Here is a spoon. I don't even know how we're going to eat this with spoons. But we're going to try to see what this is hitting on. So, uh, Cody, let's go ahead and see if this is any good or not. Did touch them two times, Tommy. Touch them good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This tastes just like the first time Tommy touched them two times. Oh, that is so good. Cody. Cody, how is it? It's very good. It's actually pretty good. The greatest prison meal you can ever make. Brought to you by the fine folks here at After Prison Show. Also by me. Touch them two times, Tommy. Cody as the guinea pig as well to tell you, hey, this is really not so bad. Touch him two times, Tommy. Said it's okay. You know, there's a lot of different meals that you can make while in prison. Tamales especially. But you can also make stuffed hot tamales. Just like we did here. Hey, look. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video from Touch Em Two Times Tommy. Thank you again to Joe Guerrero, the most phenomenal person I have ever met in my life, for allowing me to host this episode of After Prison Show, I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about this stuff, Prison Tamale, and also Touch Em Two Times Tommy. As always, as Mr. Guerrero likes to say, enjoy life, the free world, never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. From Touch Em Two Times Tommy, peace. I, and I gotta tell you, it's not easy trying to find a job with a nickname, Touch Em Two Times Tommy. Nobody wants to be yelling around in the back of a pizza joint, Hey, Touch Em Two Times Tommy! Where, where's the pepperoni pizza? You know, I can imagine if I was working in a pizza restaurant, uh, there would be a lot of people that I would be in there wanting to touch more than one time. Not three times, but, you know, Touch Em Two Times Tommy.